Yo, what's going on YouTube? I get upset when educated black women try to come on and shame black men. First of all, if you're going to come on, make sure you understand who you're talking to. Like I said, I don't run around talking about my degree here and my degree this unless <clears throat> we're talking about education. And even in the videos that I did on education, you know, you guys know I'm, I'm a teacher and I'm in the educational field. But if you didn't see my videos on education and they, they don't really get a lot of views, you know, most of the time people don't know the extent of my level of education because I don't really talk about it simply because it's not who I am. Unless we're talking about some professional stuff and I'm talking to a colleague, to me that's when it really matters. But I'll, if I'm talking to you guys casually, I mean, I don't really feel the need to bring it up. Um, I don't. So if you're an educated black woman and you come on, make sure you understand who you're talking to. Okay, when I engage in somebody on YouTube, I, I at least like to know where they're coming from. Okay, but a lot of the times you guys come on and y'all don't realize that a lot of the dudes on my channel are educated men and, you know, they're professional men and they, you know, they have solid careers and, and they can pretty much hang with you intellectually. But don't come on and assume that just because it's a black dude, he can't hang with you because you're making a fatal error. But let me get into what I want to say. Um, you know, the black woman will come on and they'll try to shame <clears throat> black men simply by saying, you know, we outnumber you guys um, and, you know, we're dating white men who are a better fit. But if you really want to shame us, if you really want to create some change, go out in the communities and actually do something. Seriously, start organizations, go out, get your hands dirty, and that will truly put some shame on black men and make them step up. Okay, you know, it, to me it's like uh, some trash that needs to be taken out, but no one's doing it, and, and a woman's doing it, right? You know, I'm like, man, you know, why is that woman doing a man's work? Or, you know, let me come help out, right? Truly shame us. But you guys aren't doing it. You guys talk about your degrees, but what do you do with it? Nothing. Okay, you guys brag about your condos, you brag about your lifestyle requirements and how you're dating white men and better men, but what are you really doing for the community? Nothing. Really, no, absolutely, positively nothing. Now, there may be a couple of you guys, but in terms of actually using your numbers to create some impact, I don't see it at all. Right, you know, you guys may have some of your social networks, but in terms of really affecting some kind of change, I don't see it. That's how you'll truly shame black men. Okay, and try to get your point across. I will hear you I will hear you loud and clear, excuse me, if I really saw you guys digging deep and trying to make the community better. Right? How could I just see you working and I'm like, man, what am I doing? You know, it's like seeing somebody struggle. You almost feel compelled to come out and help them and step up to the challenge, but you guys aren't posing any challenge. Okay, talking about your degrees and what you want out of life, I don't really care. Because to be real with you, you know, if we're talking about cars and clothes and condos, I mean, there's a million ways people can get that. If that's what it is, I mean, to be real, you got a degree to get it. You know, a dude can be on the street getting it illegally. Okay, so to me, material items aren't going to shame us. The whole idea of running off with, you know, non-black men, okay, black men are doing the same thing so you're not shaming us if you're really trying to bring about change get out there and do something mentor somebody go to a school speak to some children set something up set up some mentorship program for young black women don't come to a school and you know talk about what's going on and you know wear a business suit with a, a delta or aka pin right um, on your collar actually set something up significant Put black men to shame. Let us know that, yo, you're trying to uplift this community. And y'all need some help. And that's when you really get men that say, yo, man, we got to help these sisters out. Um, they're out here trying to do the thing and we're not doing anything. But like I said, you know, you guys are coming on. Um, you're doing well. And that's enough. Yeah, I remember a long time ago, I, I shared with you guys a story about at my barbershop. When I come in and I may wear a hoodie or a t-shirt with my school logo on it, the older heads are like, yo, what you going to do with yourself? How you going to help out the community? Really challenging me. And I thank those men because they made me better. But 
at my barber shop, there's a hair salon in the back, okay? And you'll get some Mercedes Coupe, aka license plate. She'll walk to the back. She got some children, look mixed, <clears throat> and she's doing the damn thing. She's a strong, independent black woman, and somehow that is helping out the black community. When she doesn't even look back at the same environment that she came from. How are you shaming me? Why should I feel sorry about myself in terms of what I'm not doing? Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, my voice is kind of off screaming. Um, hopefully you guys saw that uh, uh, Marquez Mayweather fight tonight. Um, but anyways, let me get off topic. I don't want to get off topic, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I think I got my point across. Really, I did. So you guys holler at me, you know, and come at me with some substance. Don't come at me on some, oh, you know, we have degrees and we have these standards and, you know, now these men are available to us. You're not doing anything. You're not shaming uh, black men. All you're doing is further, you know, increasing the gap, right, between black men and women. So you guys holler at me. Tell me how you feel. You guys know the drill. God bless.